Oh, how the hell did I miss? Seriously. Alright, let's just send the combat. Hopefully we'll get him. Good. And now there's a few more left. I'm gonna have to restock on bloody FMJ. I've, I'll have to go back to San Francisco and get myself some... Oh shit, that's a terrible shot right there. Yeah, I have to go back to San Frank and get myself some FMJ. Ah oh, shit, wrong place. Okay. Oh dear lord. Oh good grief, what is Solik doing, seriously? Oh god, finally, I can get a clear shot on him. Oh, come on. Realistically though, I don't think that if you shoot 30 bullets of bozai into each enemy that they won't really get any damage done to them. Well, not at least 10. 10 is just like, what the? Ah, oh, shit, this is bloody annoying. This should take me around 2 minutes and it's taken me bloody t a whole bloody episode. Bloody bullshit. Oh, fucking hell. This is fucking ridiculous, seriously. What is this? Okay, um... Alright, one more and I'm done. Yes, finally. How the... There are no hostile creatures left. Trust me. Okay, let's talk to a primitive looking man and say that you are free. Also, uh, if you have the kill app patch, uh, you can say that, well, ask about some, well, it's actually Soluk Sis that you're asking about. So, just, um, oh shit, I can't even talk properly. Alright, so, um, this guy will tell you that there's a massive camp nearby, which is the Primitive Tribe, and you can find, uh, Solik Sister there. Not exactly in the Primitive Tribe, but in, the, in another slaver camp. Alright. And that's pretty much that to do with Metzger. Now all we really have to do is talk to good old buddy but but Vic. And after Vic, there's I think two more quests to do. Oh shit, balls. No. Unlock the bloody door. How the hell? Oh, good grief. This is ridiculous. This episode went from terrible to batshit crazy. There we go. Alright, let's talk to Vic. Yes, I know you're in forever in my debt. Now, tell me where Vault 13 is. And he'll tell you that there's a Vault City instead, which doesn't really help me at all. And he'll also tell you that some guy called Ed is also in Vault City, who's his friend. Nothing really relevant, just like all the conversations in Lost that didn't answer any questions. Alright, now. Despite that, Vic is a very good uh, person for repairing things, so he'll join you, which is good, to say the least. And let's see, maybe I can give him some armor and some weapons. Alright, um, hmm. Okay, the pulse rifle, gas rifle. Which one should I give him? I think I'll give the Gaze Rifle to... What's his name? I think it's Marcus? Or is it the other guy? Oh god, I forget their names already. Forgot their names already. 
Alright, I think that's good enough for him. I'm gonna go back uh, after this episode to the military base to get, to get him his power armor. And I'm also gonna go back to San Francisco, which I've already said. And has he equipped his... He can't actually use it, can he? No. Wait, let's, let's just... Uh, actually, I'll let him keep it for now. It'll act as like some weight... Uh, what do you call him? Oh god, I forget the proper name for... Oh shit, never mind. <sighs> Man, I'm really sucking in this episode. Not only at this game, but in this episode, definitely. Alright, um, let's see. Let's talk to Mum. I think that's how you start this quest. Um, okay. She'll just give you some food. And oh god, I don't think this is the proper way to do this quest. Okay, basically in the kill up modification uh, or kill up module, I keep getting those two mixed up. There's an extra area in this uh, location, which would be the residential area, and it's not very. How would I say? important seeing as there's only two quests in the area but still I suggest that you finish some of the quests off because well they're quests and they give you XP and XP is important so this is the only area that seems remotely drug free now I'm just gonna check some of these areas not much actually occurs here but, there's a massive, massive area over here. Wait, wait, wait. I forget how to start with this quest. I think you need to talk to the child in this house for now. Alright, let's talk to him. Hi, mister. My name is Johnny. Johnny. Alright. Uh, okay, so, what happens is, this kid gets beat up by his dad. Now, that's pretty horrible, and, let's see, let me just quickly read through this. Okay, basically he wants a home, and he'll tell you that mum in the East End, in Mum's Diner, actually wants to start an orphanage in this area. So, we have to go to mum, and talk to her. Not a very difficult quest, and... Sure as hell, one that gives you a shitload of XP. So, let's just get out of here for now. I'm just going through here because it's much quicker. I really dislike going through the actual uh, transition area. Okay, now let's talk to mom. Okay, I notice there are a lot of orphans around town. What can we do about this? She wants to start an orphanage. What can I do to help? And she'll tell you that there's some squatters in the giant building nearby and that you have to clear it out of the squatters. I have no idea why, but... Oh no, wrong place. Seems a bit rude to get rid of drunkies. Oh, Shit, I, I'm, I just give up. I quit LPing. I said drunkies. Who? Oh, dear lord. Okay, let's talk to the junkies. And... Now let's just keep choosing this. Okay, now, uh, you have some options. You can say that uh, you can get the hell out of here, or you can stay here and work and clean up the space for some orphans and you can get free food and some money in exchange for keeping the building clean doesn't actually seem too difficult but I think you gain a bit more XP as well as karma after you finish this quest now let's just I think you have to talk to the little child here maybe not but who knows oh never mind 
Okay, so I guess we have to go back to Mum's diner and finish up the quest there. But before we do, I'm just going to check if there's any particular other quests I can do around here, which probably is not the case. Nope. The only quest you can do in the residential area is the um, orphan quest. And to lesser extent, beating up Tyler's gang. Or in my instance, uh, screwing up the screw up and actually defeating Lara's gang. So, let's go through the transition area that takes me out of this place. More like the exit grid, but no idea why I call it transition area. Alright. The Dern, east side. And let's talk to Mum and give us some money for the orphanage for it to begin. Alright. I think you give her money. Or does she start it by herself? Maybe not, who knows. Alright, so uh, that's pretty much the end of the episode. I'm just gonna go to the Den residential area. And yeah, it's it, despite the Den being a very, very large area, it still doesn't have a very large amount of quests. Compared to other areas, it has quite a bit. But still, these quests are quite easy. Mainly because I shouldn't be wearing a power armor at this moment, but instead having a a pump action shotgun instead of a uh, boza. So yeah, uh, I think the next area I'm gonna go to is just a second. I'm just gonna get out of this area. But the next area I'm probably gonna go to is. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to think about that, but obviously I'm gonna have to get power armor first and and more FMJ armor. The hell is that? Something of broken drink. Oh, I think I've already been there. Never mind. So what's the primitive tribe? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Shit, I thought that was Navarro. Man, I'm just rambling on about nothing. I could go to Vault City, but there's no real point for now. So there must be another city nearby here. But that's probably not. So I'm just going to save the game here and plan out my next episode later. So have fun and uh, I hope to do many more episodes more frequently from now on. And yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. See you later everyone.